So today we'll discuss about how var and let keyword behave inside a for loop. This is a traditional for loop we have used. There are so many different flavor of it, but today we'll concentrate our focus on inside this traditional for loop, right? And here we are looping till number five. Starting from zero index till the five, right? It is a very simple traditional for loop. And before we dive into this for it is printing, if you try to print inside this for loop.console.log i, then it will print 0 to 4. The first loop also print 0 to 4, and the second loop also print 0 to 4. So there is no differences. So whenever the beginner want to understand the differences, they just try to tweak that variable from where to late and late to var. And they got surprised that for why there is a difference. So basically there is no difference inside that. There is one particular difference, but I'll explain you in a few minutes. But let me explain what this happened at this moment. But if you try to print this console.log i outside this variable for loop, then the it will print 5 because we have used where keyword. The reason why it is happening because this where is not a block scope. You know, it is, this is not only confined to this curly bracket. So because of the hoisting concept or kind of flag analogy, flag hoisting, this var i will be declared outside of this for loop. And i would be initially before this for if you try to access, it will be undefined. Then it would be assigned to 0, 1, 2 and so on. And once it exit this for loop, the, it will contain this i value as 5. So it won't be undefined. So it will have some value. But inside this let keyword, it is declared inside this and it died inside this only. Inside this curly bracket. It, it looks like it is before this curly bracket, but the way this for loop is designed and the, it is described in the specification, the scope of this i equal to zero is only confined inside this loop only because this is known as block level scope or inside this curly bracket. So if you try to access outside of it, so this i is not defined, you will get a reference error. Okay, now let's uh, show that example real quick. So if you use like this traditional loop, three or five, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you, then it is printing zero, one, two. If you try to change to let, then also it is printing zero, one, two. So there is no difference. So why there is a fuss about it? Because if you try to print outside, let's let me change to where keyword again. Let me try to print here. I equal to three. So you may feel that it is okay. You know, if I, I, I really doesn't care about what I is content, but you we have to understand the concept why it is happening. So because in this case, what happened is where is declared outside this box. It is known as hoisting. Like this it is happen. It is exactly the same. It is uh, this time we are explicitly doing it, but internally the browser, uh, they will treat this where keyword like this. So it would be only created once. And all this value will be incremented and stored. So after this for loop exit also, we are able to access it. But it, it doesn't happen like this way with the, you know, let keyword. If you try to use the let keyword, so we can, you know, get this message displayed over here. There is no problem. But if you try to access outside of it, then it doesn't recognize. Because the declaration of let i, it doesn't happen like this, you know. So it all happen here. And one very important thing to note over here is that this i value, right, is not only one i will be incremented. Each time there will be three different copy of I will be created. You know, I will explain in, in a bit with a visualize. But this in variable only one I will be created, and that content will be keep on replacing. But in this for context, there will be three I will be created. One I is the scope is started with this, and once it is finished, it's dead. Then once the loop it increment with one. Then a second copy of it, it will create it. We, we definitely we can't access the previous one, but it will it will happen like that manner. So outside it, there is no you know visibility of that eye. So now let's uh, discuss about how it behave about you know 
if you try to call a inside one function this can be any function okay this for simplicity i am using the timeout this to demonstrate the concept but if you can use a array of function and call outside then this kind of behavior will also you can visualize but i won't complicate into that because that's not my intention you know to over complicate the example so for example if you have a set timeout if you do console.log i then this uh, what it will print because this this for loop will execute so fast then the set timeout will you know try to print this i hey, after one second or it doesn't matter because even though you give less than uh, one second also this particular uh, you know there is a another concept known as event loop and queue uh, queue mechanism how javascript handle this kind of function call because to make it simply first it will try to call for loop and each uh, value right it will try to pile up this function call into one more queue and uh, once this for loop is finished then only it will pick this uh, set timeout and execute one by one but at that time it started executing one by one this i will point to only one memory location because this why variable i is declared initially and it is available i here also in the previous example i saw i contain you know in this case three so all the time this i will be printed three because in in case of variable i equal to declare only once and the value is already modified so in case of memory location if i try to call this set timeout so it will find only one i even though it try to copy but in case of uh, you know late i they did significant improvement you know <clears throat> so in case of late i we use it is a three distinct values and the values will be copied to i even though it will be executed outside because of you know the way this function will carried over this i value will be copied to a local variable this is this i is a local reference so it will be copied but it will refer to this uh, 0 1 and 2 okay so if you try to print it it would be printing 0 1 2 now let's see that example in action so what i'm trying to say you let me uncomment it okay this three ignore it because this uh, tool whatever i'm using is printing the three unnecessarily so whenever i printed uh, i so it is printing zero one and two okay this three are important if you try to use where so it would be printing three 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 because if you see there is a delay also if you try to reduce the delay then also it would be three 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 it will print because uh, by the time this will execute it the i only contain one value there is no multiple copies you know because where is declared outside but in the late there are multiple copies so it, it will even though it will execute after this function completion of the for loop which will have a three distinct value of i okay so hope you understood about uh, how this latent variable keyword are used in conjunction with for loop have a good day ahead bye bye